So this video is to test out the frame generation capabilities of these GPUs. So here we have the 3080 as the main display on this 500Hz monitor um, and the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. There it is, it's that little low profile card over there. So this is what happens when you try to put it at 10 times, 10 times for the 1050 Ti, you will oh, control all this. You will start seeing these watery, art I got flasher, watery artifacts. You see that? You see how it's like pastel-like? It's not gonna respond well. Oh man. And I forgot to mention that the settings is all on. So these are the settings. Graphics, high crowd density, resolution scaling is off because I don't like those. Ray tracing is off. Motion blur off. Everything else to the max. The advanced everything to the max. Okay, we are back. So the maximum we can go is at 264 for the 1650. This is the 1650. This is the maximum we could go. 270-ish to 275. That's the. F Yeah. Now let's try into other. Let's try lowering it. See if it becomes more stable. Show all this. 260 to six. Yeah, 260. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 1660 super, 6 gigabytes. 10 times or 8 times? Yeah, actually 10 times. And scale 65 FPS. Base. Okay, let's see here. Getting high above 290, I guess. 295. Yeah, about 290, almost 300, but not not that much. 297, okay. A good high of 297. So, so 297 div divided by 60 is 4.95, which is close to 5. So we would get the best minimal art artifact uh, artifacting setting for the 1660 super as you can see here like that ghosting omega ghosting looking off okay, let's set that down let's tone it down so called rage radeon card um it works very well still oh here's my settings so 1.1 is the best one you could use for older cards and then 